Today, we're gonna be talking about Trader Joe. This is a decentralized exchange protocol built on top of the Avalanche blockchain. Something like this is comparable to PancakeSwap, SushiSwap, Uniswap, and many other decentralized exchanges. So we're going to look at the price action to see where things might be going. The first thing that I notice here is that we have a potential inverse cup and handle. This would be the cup and here would be a small handle, a move lower would come after. What really happens in this type of inverse cup and handle is that we find rejection at a previous support point. Pretty much the dollar and 55 cent area was resistance back here. It was support over here and it was support over here as well. Even though we have resistance right here, right now, of course, if Bitcoin moves higher, so will every other altcoin regardless of their individual price action. We can also notice that the RSI has been trending downwards. So we have weakness in the overall price action. When we combine price action going down and a bearish divergence, what I am looking for is for that time when Joe actually does a retest of the resistance line. And if we're able to break higher, we should be able to see a dramatic bullish breakout. Besides the RSI, we can see that of course, Joe put a low of around 60 cents, then we bounced all the way back up to a dollar and 64 cents. This is why I love this technical tool. I mean, look at this. Price action went back up exactly to the 23.6 retracement level. So in case that Joe was to recover even more, the golden pocket is the 61.8, $3.33. Now I'm actually surprised that Joe didn't put a lower low like yesterday or so when the market was really fearful like many altcoins have, they have put in lower lows, but Trader Joe seems to be a little bit stronger because we didn't get a retrace back to that 60 cent level. We only went as low as 85 cents. Overall, we can see that we have pretty strong resistance at this horizontal level of now resistance along with the 23.6 retracement level. If the whole market begins to trend upwards once again, the next price target for Trader Joe would be $2.28, which is the 38.2 retracement level. If things get even more bearish, we have support at the 60 cent level. And then if we go below 60 cents, the next level of support would be something around 30 cents. Hello guys and welcome back to another huge Bitcoin market update. So today we have the markets moving up a little bit. We did have Bitcoin bounce towards that $40,000 level. We also had the stock market bounce as well. Why is this happening as Russia invades Ukraine? You always buy the rumor and you sell the news. For example, if you guys remember Dogecoin, when Elon Musk went on Saturday Night Live, there was so much hype behind Dogecoin. You know how the rumor always goes. Dogecoin is gonna moon on Saturday. And what happened? They got rock pool because the price crashed. In the same manner, everyone has been really afraid of this Russia-Ukraine invasion. But then when the invasion actually happens, the markets go up. <laughs> now that Russia has actually moved on with the invasion, what else do we have to fear? And of course, the price goes up instead. We're now looking at Bitcoin on the weekly. Everybody thinks we're going into this massive 85% correction bear market where nobody talks about Bitcoin and all coins disappear. And why so much negativity? Well, because people are going back in time and they're saying, oh, look, once we go below the 50 moving average, it's done. And so right now we have gone below the 50 moving average. And so it's done, right? Because price action never changes. It just does the same thing every four years. So I think this is just a silly idea to look at this moving averages and say the same thing is gonna happen again. And we're right now testing the 100 moving average. And just like we saw Bitcoin bounce from the 50 moving average, I believe we could also see Bitcoin bounce from this 100 moving average, eventually retesting higher highs 
again. Let's go ahead and pull a Fibonacci extension and see what Bitcoin is doing in the immediate short term. We are seeing a pretty decent bounce in the Bitcoin price. So let's go down to the four hour time frame. And isn't this beautiful, guys? So check this out. This retracement went pretty much to that $40,000 level, which is exactly the 50% retracement level. This is why I love the Fibonacci retracement. Now we could still go a little bit higher and hit the $41,000 level, which is the 61.8. If Bitcoin is able to sustain this short term uptrend. What about the stock market today? We had a pretty good fake out because price action did actually break this point of support which is the 23.6 support level and also this previous low just below the 50 moving average. So the reasonable assumption would be that the stock market is going lower and that so is Bitcoin because we have overall bearish price action, but not so fast because so far we've only had rejection below the 23.6 guys. When you look at these candles, if you look at these thin lines, these wicks, this is called rejection, right? Where price action goes there, but it is rejected. Now, what's not rejection is something like this, where you don't have any weeks and it's just candle body all the way. We'll have to see what the stock market does tomorrow, Friday and the week after. Now, as far as the Bitcoin dominance goes, we're still in this descending triangle formation and we also have this point of rejection up here where we have found rejection before and this is going to be really interesting to see because any drastic movement in the Bitcoin dominance is going to greatly affect all coins in the immediate short term. What am I thinking could happen here? There's only two possible scenarios. Scenario one, we try to break up of this resistance line, consolidate, eventually break lower once again to retest this 40% support level. The second option is we're able to break above this resistance line. Eventually, we retest the 50% resistance level, in which case we could see the Bitcoin dominance either skyrocket past this resistance level or still come back down once again. Is the stock market about to crash even worse? What about Bitcoin? Do you believe this is the end? Bybit has now launched a new sign up and deposit bonus. If you deposit in the first seven days, you can get a bonus up to $3,500. Also, if you guys have any issues with IP address restrictions, check out NordVPN. This is what I use personally. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing because I do a daily Bitcoin update and I'll see you guys in the next video.